Twitch deciding very early on that it wanted to uh, cut me off. It didn't actually get cut off at all by Twitch last, ep uh, last episode, but here in the middle of these entrances, cut off as you see the second man to come out to the ring now. Accompanied by Wolf the Phantom and Wolf the Blood Brother. Now the WWE Universe sure isn't shy about sharing their feelings about this. You see Phantom coming to the ring with his tag team partner Wolf by his side. Phantom, the man right there at the center of your screen, will be competing against Alex Wolf. We're going to see if these two men can compete and if they can... Uh, finally pick up a victory over in any way shape or form over the tag team champions Jake Watson here at ringside tonight watching on but Alex Wolf is the one competing as you see him standing there right there just a couple of feet away from these two intimidating figures surprising that he's uh was not giving them the respect to get out of the ring but Alex Wolf maybe trying to prove a point that he is not going to back down if anybody's in the chat would y'all let me know uh, that you guys are there, so I can go ahead and start up this matchup. Start up this matchup. Start this matchup. Sorry about that. I'll catch myself saying stuff, and I usually don't correct myself, but occasionally I do because it really bugs me when I say the wrong things. Um, anybody in the chat, just let me know that you can see the video since we started back up. I want to know that I'm not streaming blank screens or people aren't there, so please let me know quickly. Okay, there we go. So you're there, and that obviously you can see. Otherwise, you would have said you couldn't. So here we go. Alex Wolf facing position. Phantom here. Alex Wolf kind of losing his way. So much losing lately. He did win a match in the King of the Ring tournament, but was unable to go all the way in that tournament, losing in the second round, the semifinals, Phantom. was Alex Wolf. But in tag team action, he really has faltered for the last little bit as he and Jake Watson unable to pick up a win lately. But you're going to see tonight here if in singles action they can finally get some momentum against the top tag team here in XCW Universe. Our XCW Universe tag team champions, Phantom and Wolf. Phantom in the ring, Wolf watching on from outside. Alex Wolf taking Phantom to the ground. Now dragging him to the center of the ring. Wolf has not got it to compete in singles action since King of the Ring. And we'll see if he uh, is able to put on those singles boots one more time after fighting in tag team matches almost exclusively for the last month. Alex Wolf, nice takedown there. Taking Phantom down with that hip toss. And now that ring using the wrist there to take him down to the ground, slamming him on his back. A quick spinning elbow there. Alex Wolf staying on top of Phantom right now. Now Phantom though with that jumping STO. And now might be going for a submission hold. Yes, he is. He's twisting the arm here. And now wrenching back on the face of Alex Wolf, who might have to tap out, but no, Phantom lets him go pretty quickly. A little bit early on, I guess, to, to expect a, a submission to work. But Alex Wolf coming back quickly there with that elbow to the inside of the, I'm sorry, that knee to the inside of the elbow. <laughs> Man, that was a vicious elbow drop. Jake Watson cheering on his partner. Doing a good job right now against Phantom. He's got him. Phantom, though, being thrown off the ropes. What is this? Oh no, gets reversed as he jumps at Alex, taking him down. Phantom getting that Luthes press and a couple punches in for good measure. Oh, Wolf quickly tripping him back up. What is going on here? Alex Wolf not allowing Phantom to really get any momentum. Nice takedown that her Karana after spinning around Phantom a little bit. The very tall Phantom being taken down to the mat head first by Alex Wolf. This signature move here, this red, white, and blue Thunderbomb. One, two, no, just a two count. But there, as you see, obviously he's got the advantage, able to get a signature move in. Reversed on that throw though. No, nice move that, uh, oh gosh, can't remember the name of the arm, 
Arm drag, there we go. It was a spinning arm drag. Again, just like that uh, Herc Rana moments ago, able to spin around with that arm drag taking Phantom down. But Phantom, what is this? He's going to throw him. He is, man. Phantom with that great move off the top rope, launching Alex Wolf hard into the mat. Phantom does have a lot of momentum on this match. Nice uh, knee to the back of the spine of Alex Wolf as Phantom trying to fight back. Although, what is this finishing move here, I believe? That kill switch going for the immediate pinfall. One, two. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought that was it. It says it keeps lagging. I, I haven't seen any lag, or it doesn't say it's lagging for me. Usually it tells me when it's lagging. Alex Wolf almost picking up the win right there. I thought he had it. I thought he was going to defeat Phantom and give his team quite a bit of momentum going forward, but no. Phantom kicking out. Phantom setting back. Is this a signature move of Phantom? I believe it is. No, this might be a finisher. I cannot remember which of the two it is. This last ride, though, Alex Wolf jumping back to his feet. Must have been a signature. Comeback move right here. Alex Wolf ducking under. Nice, sweet chin music. Will he go for the pinfall? No, he's going to go up. He's probably going for a signature move right here. Going for that red, white, and blue thunder bomb. Is this it? It's Phantom going to lose. One, two, three. Alex Wolf able to hit the win. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this Phantom finally losing the tag team competition. Wolf still undefeated. I mean, excuse me, in singles competition. Wolf still undefeated in singles competition. But Phantom, for the first time ever, being pinned to the mat. And Alex Wolf is the man to do it. He might not be fighting for the tag team titles, but he will forever hold the, the mark of being the first man to pin Phantom here in XCW Universe. See Jake Watson getting in there, checking on his partner, seeing he's okay. Alex Wolf threw a, a grueling match here, but able to defeat one half of the tag team champions. You have not heard that in a long time. And Phantom picking up the loss. Alex Wolf, great match. Is it uh, is it still lagging, Madfire? Said that it was lagging, but uh, hopefully it's not going to cut off. I see eight people in here. I guess Madfire, did you have to reset your? Uh... Can anyone hear me? If anyone can't hear me, please let me know. Do I need to restart the broadcast? Z Jin Suki, can you hear me? Can anybody hear me? If anybody can hear me, say, I can hear you. If you can't hear me, I'm going to have to restart the broadcast. Okay, there we go. People can hear me. So, Madfire, you might need to reset your stream. That might be the reason why you're unable to hear me. Sorry about that. I wanted to figure out what was going on before I moved on. But here we go. Moving on. Has anyone lost their debut, Future? Yes. Uh, some people, of course, have lost their debut. Of course, when we first started out, half the league pretty much had to lose their debuts. But, uh, yeah, some people have lost their debuts. Anthony actually lost his debut before picking up quite a few wins, including the Money in the Bank qualifying victory early here tonight. He's only had, I believe, four matches here in XCW Universe. But uh, he, he lost his debut and came back. Uh, who won the match? I don't know why you can't hear us. Anything else? Everybody else can. Sorry about that, Madfire. But uh, just to let you know, you won. Alex Wolf won the match. Uh, Tornado there saying it before I could, before you could hear me. Probably Alex Wolf getting the pinfall victory with the red, white, and blue thunder bomb from Alex Wolf after kicking out of a signature last ride that we saw defeat uh, Russell Worth and Aaron Storms last week on Superstars. Uh, Z Jin Suki. Uh, I'm not sure. I think you might be thinking more of a, an interactive universe where people come in and choose different people or something. I, 
I'm not sure exactly what you're asking me by saying, so can I pick a champion? But uh, this is more of a, you give me your call. I simulate the matches and commentate. Commentate on the chat, commentate on the matches. And uh, we let Universe kind of play things out to a degree. You know, I have to tinker here and there. But uh, this, is, this is the kind of uh, thing this is. As you see, our United States champion coming to the ring here tonight, Warden. Um, our, we're currently full on creator wrestlers. Uh, the 25 slots have been filled up, but you can always send me your information on Xbox Live. My gamer tag is Image Maker, no spaces. Um, if you want to send me your information, I can always think about submitting, I mean, getting your call in later if we have an opening later on. Got about two or three people lined up, but here we go. Let's watch this entrance here. Jane Scott here, a couple of weeks ago, beating Brian Tornado Nash, our undisputed champion, by submission. And then last week, defeating Tyrant in the ring, a former United States, uh, or a man who's f formerly fought for the United States title. But this week, actually facing the current United States champion. If he were to pick up this victory, he might have the most momentum in XCW Universe history. Quite a few quality wins. And uh, might be setting himself up for a U.S. title match at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view if he were able to defeat Warden here tonight. Some I've heard some say that he's lucky that Brian Tornado Nash is going to have to face Mike Miles as Shane Scott has been uh, wanting to fight for that undisputed championship since going into singles competition, breaking out of that Foreign Affairs tag team. But right here tonight, he is facing another champion, Warden, who won his title just this last month at King of the Ring, defeating three of their men in a fatal four-way match, and then retaining his title after defeating Chris Cryptic one-on-one -on -one as Chris Cryptic tried to regain that United States championship but was unable to do so last week. Warden having to fight some tough matchups here in XCW Universe after being here for only about one month but proving his worth early on. Nice knee face buster right there. Taking Shane Scott to the mat. Uh, on 2K14, did I make my own paint tools? I don't think I did. It just it takes too much time. I have a hard enough time using the designs in the game. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm a guy who will spend hours doing it. But, I don't know, using the paint tools is frustrating for me. So no, I never really, didn't really make many paint tools. A, a couple, but not many. Shane Scott here pounding the chest of our United States champion. I think he's on nine, ten times. And now Warden literally just falling to the outside as his momentum carried him over the edge of the apron. Oh, nice move there by Shane Scott. Two knees to the back. European uppercut right here. Yeah, I agree, Future, as you agree with me. It, it was just too hard. I, I actually much prefer the ability to simply download them on the game from uh, anything that you download from, you know, you can upload it from online somewhere. And uh, so uh, all these people with these great logos online, I'm able to just go and find the ones that I want to use for my character and apply them there as long as they, you know, make sense and are a good color scheme. Sadly, the one time occasionally I want to change the color of them, but uh, the people only upload a black or white or red or blue, a certain specific color, and so I'm kind of at their mercy. They're not my uh, logos that I always use, but uh, I appreciate everybody that does put up awesome uh, logos online. As you see, it, I think it really helps your cause stick out when you up when you have a, a nice logo that kind of sticks out from the rest of the bunch. I, I really enjoy that logo on the back of... Shane Scott's trunks there that 
tattered American flag. I've seen that quite a bit, but just in general, I think it's our only first year in XCW Universe to use it. But it's just a great logo that goes on uh, T-shirts or, as you can see, on these trunks very well. Warden also very unique trunks. But what is this? I think there's a finishing move right here. The border toss. I don't know where he came up with that finisher. Is this is going to beat our U.S. champion? One, two. I think it was a two count. The referee not in the picture. I couldn't see. Fighting back is Warden with a comeback move. Two punches to the face. Getting reversed. A throw into the corner. No, coming back. That knee face buster again. Completing that comeback. Will Warden be able to defeat the impressive Shane Scott? Going for a signature. I think he's going to hit it. He's doing that electric chair drop into a German combo. Catches him. Hits it. One. No, just. I can't even tell if that was a one count. Shane Scott kicking out. Maybe before one. That is insane. His momentum, though, not able to continue. Shane Scott now coming back with a comeback, but Warden quickly preventing that from happening, throwing him outside the ring. This match spilling to the outside. Shane Scott trying to get to his feet, but Warden lifting him up. Ducking under, though, is Shane Scott with that German suplex. Shane Scott's probably close to another signature move as he's throwing Warden into the ring. Shane Scott stepping over the top rope. Warden back to his feet, though. Tries to attack Shane Scott. He literally just scoffs it off like nothing. As if he didn't even just punch him in the chest, but Warden able to take him down with that Russian leg sweep. Throwing him to the outside there. Nice move by Warden. Warden lifting up. Or sorry, excuse me, Scott. Shane Scott trying to get to his feet, but that Warden right there with the uh, headbutt taking him back to the ground. That was a beautiful German feature. What is this? Shane Scott, elbow on the outside. He's going for that apron leg drop. He is right there on the hardest part of the ring. A leg drop taping, taking Warden uh, a couple feet in the ring as Shane Scott now in the ring, standing over Warden. Might be ready to hit a signature move. Hits him off the ropes. Warden turns around. Shane throwing him back over the ropes. No pullback. A shoulder block off that pullback maneuver. Shane Scott's probably going for something here. Yes, he is lifting him up up top. Reversal, though. I don't know if that was a signature or finisher. End of days. End of days by Warden. One, two, three. Oh, my gosh. Our United States champion defeating Shane Scott. You know, if we go back to right before King of the Ring, we had Warden facing Brent Ryder, former United States champion. And at that time, what we thought was an upset victory he has now won five straight matches. Or excuse me. Yeah, I believe five straight matches. He beat Brent Ryder one-on-one. -on -one. He won that fatal four-way for the United States Championship match. Then he defeated Chris Cryptic one-on-one. -on -one. Then he defeated Chris Cryptic again for the title one-on-one -on -one in an Extreme Rules match. And now for the fifth week or fifth episode in a row, Warden picking up an impressive victory. Halting the win of, of Shane Scott. Shane Scott, I think, might be coming back with a vengeance. I don't think he's going to take this one laying down. He still might have a match at the pay-per-view for this man's title. Or he might be going to the Money in the Bank qualifying match. I'm not sure. But Shane Scott, for sure, is not going to be happy about this loss. I am utterly shocked that of all of our upsets, this might be the biggest one that I did not see coming. But it all is thanks to that reversal, as you saw I believe Shane Scott going for either a signature or finishing move. Warden able to reverse it and then hit his end of days for the win. Man, what a match right there. Great comeback by Warden. And right now, though, we're going on to our next matchup between two men who have already qualified for the Money in the Bank match at Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Brent Ryder qualifying last week on Superstars and Justin Sane qualifying on Raw last week. Justin Sane defeating Lucky Chance while Brent Ryder defeated. Ugh. It's hard to remember all this stuff off the top of your head. <laughs> it was just this last night that we recorded episode 12. Brent Ryder defeated. Um, if anybody remembers, let me know because I cannot remember off the top of my head who Brent Ryder defeated. I, oh, that's a, Sammy Danger. That's who it was. Sammy Danger, I thought, had that match won.
come on 2K. I don't know what's up with the freezing problems. Uh, Tornado, you do have a match this week. I don't know if you guys are seeing that it's frozen or not. But uh, uh, every time I have to cut off the stream and restart it, means I have to have a new section for YouTube, which is really the biggest reason why this cutting the stream kills me. But I'm going to have to reset 2K. Uh, I'm going to have to reset the game and restart it. So if you're watching, keep watching because the stream will continue. But here we go, resetting it. Killing